hi hello my name is Kat and this is Whittier Stitches welcome to my floss tube I have no clue what number it is I forgot to check beforehand surprise surprise I am unprepared oh, oh I have moved one of my chairs I bought two of these into the my little recording corner we'll see how this goes I feel like I'm really really low to the floor and that it looks funny um it has been floss to runny nose the instant i start recording i have been fine all morning whatever y'all are used to it uh it has been over a month since i recorded the last there has been a lot of stuff going on here um well not a lot of stuff same thing continued um you will hear children in the background um because they don't have school today um okay i'm like i don't even remember it's been so long i'm like what what do how function um you know what we're gonna start with floss tubers because i have left floss tubers out of my last video and maybe even the one before that uh, i don't remember so i have a very long of floss tuber, very long list of floss tubers to mention. So we're just gonna go ahead and knock that out before I get to the end and forget. Right? List. Um, we're going to go through this like an actual list. I'm just gonna throw it out there. Uh, and if I end up talking about people throughout the course of the video, that's fine. But this is the last two months, okay? New to me, I have Marumi Crafts, Rachel Ray Fiber Arts, the Redneck Bifocal Stitcher, Stitches and Spookies, The Stitching Owl, Bookish Kale, Jinjo Stitches, The Hathaway Stitchers, Krista, The Shenandoah Valley Stitcher, and Crafty Road Gamer. There is a new channel a lot of you have already found, um, but it's Wicked Cat Stitch. Um, and then I am caught up on Kim the Stitcher, Cross Stitch the Globe, Chinook Crafter, Kenny Stitches, Uplift Stitches, Crafty Gaming Jamie, Marjorie Maid, um, the Backcountry Stitcher, Subpar Stitches, uh, The Giddy Stitcher, The Runner Stitcher, Ali Z, uh, Cinematic, Addie's Cross and Quilts, Eve at Queen Bee Crafts, Jamie Cruz, Frizzy Lizzie Stitches, Caroline Stitch Corner, uh, and Lalani. Um, the only one I'm not 100% caught up on is Cinematic Stitches. I made it halfway through the video that came out last night or this morning. Um, and then I ended up having to move around furniture and a bunch of that fun stuff. So I will finish that after I'm done recording this video. Um, yeah, lots and lots and lots and lots of floss tube. Um, it has been keeping me sane. So speed run of floss tubers done. Yeah. New starts. Start and a finish. Abby X stitches. Fat is not a bad word, but obviously I made some changes. I recharted it to um, add my tattoos in and make her hair like short and curly. Wow, I'm really far away from the camera. Okay. Um, I saw, what was it? Krista, the Shenandoah Valley stitcher. She did hers, um, she left the words off completely and just did her tattoos and that inspired me to make this edit to mine. I'm gonna have to scoot my chair closer. Um, you know what, I'm not even gonna pause the video. I'll just cut it out, unless it turns funny. Oh, that made a funny noise. Okay. How's this? Am I close enough now? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Anyways, that is not a bad word. I started this and finished it within 24 hours. With my rechart, it had 999 stitches. I got it done. It took me like eight and a half hours total over the course of less than 24 hours. Um, so yay, love it. Speaking of tattoos, I did get my tattoo fixed by Erin. It is gorgeous. I love it. I might be able to show it to you. I will do that later. 
Next up, I have a new start. This is Unseelie the Forest Witch. I forget who the art is by. I will look that up and put it on screen somewhere. <laughs> uh, but it is charted by Thread Geeks. And I got 362 stitches put in there. It is a full coverage. Now I am not stitching it completely full coverage. Um, as you can see, this is an easy grid fabric, but it's not stark white, right? Mm hmm. I did the gentlest, softest coffee to dye ever. Um, so, because the background on this pattern is like a light tan beigey color and I really did not want to stitch all of that beige so I have decided to coffee dye the fabric into a beigey color and then I'll just leave all of the stitches out um but yes this is this is where I'm at this is the start I got I think this was four days um Yay! There's not a whole lot of stitchy. Sorry guys, life's been a little hectic. Um, but yes, so there we go. Okay, then I have three whips, two of which barely got touched. So, ooh, let me move stuff. We will start with this one right here. Luna Love. Um, is by Sprouting Lupine. I think we all know that already. I got in 53 stitches down here in this corner. I think it was these maybe? I think it was the the beginning of the flower petals. Um, that's it. That's all I got. That was one day, a few stitches. And then I got the Lady of the Flag. I did a whole 36, yeah, 36 stitches on this bad boy. Hoo hoo. Somewhere in the flag. Don't ask me where. I have no idea. But 36 stitches is better than zero stitches. God, she gonna be big. She gonna be big. Okay. And then, and then, and then, and then, and this is my last whip. Wow, I'm done in under 10 minutes. <sighs> Tells you how little I stitched. This is Dark Queen of the Earth by Autumn Lane Stitchery. And I have done 571 stitches on her. Ooh, I'm knocking stuff over. Um, and I've been stitching down in here. Um, working on this section. I love this gorgeous, gorgeous lady. But oh my goodness, she is so stinking big. Ah, um, she's up to 31.4%. But again, just do to do. That's been the last two days. Um, so that's it. That's all the stitching I've done. Should I go into haul? I don't well, I have haul, but like nothing important. I got my market place orders in and they have already been scanned and put away and have they have they been put away that is a good question they have okay so let me go ahead and do my marketplace haul real quick mine as well um carriage house sampling strawberry dream the journey sampler by uh sambri stitches this is Bigfoot. Of course I got it. Gorgeous by the Artsy Housewife. The Mary Stitches from Sampler Bird Stitchery is a little ornament. Heartstring Samplery, the Scenic Sampler, which I still want to do the Scary Sampler, but I've already got this one, so I'll probably start here. Um... The Golden Thread by Sweet Wing Studios. 
and then show and tell at the witch's retreat by thistle um and then of course i got all the freebies because i ordered through mystic fabrics and if you order through them they automatically give you all of the freebies uh, i can't show you those because i don't have cover photos um but that is my marketplace haul i will start them eventually i do have other haul um i bought a few digital patterns i also got some most sales silk um, but that's already been put away and it is nowhere near me, so I'm not even going to bother with getting it out. Uh, I think that is it for haul. I do have some stitchy kindness, uh, from other cat. Um, so Candace Stitcher posted up, not this last video, but the one before that, mentioning that Cat had done a fabric swap, and I was like, what the heck? I haven't done anything with Cam. And then she started, you know, obviously pointing out that it was Wicked Cat Stitch, and I was like, oh, okay, well, that's funny. We have the same name. I'm just going to send other cat a message and say hi and be like, haha, I love your name. And we have been messaging every day since then. <laughs> um, cat is amazing. Uh, she's just phenomenal in all aspects and um she's stuck with me forever now actually she's the one that sent me the stitchy kindness and she did say in it i'm not gonna read the whole letter but i just know that we will be friends for the next 100 years and i can't wait to see what is yet to come and i could not agree more um i she's just one of those people that you meet and you talk to and you know oh my gosh this person stuck with me forever kind of the same way i did with jordan um from jordan at needle house yep cat cat is stuck with me forever um but she reached out she was like hey i bought some charms they're really cute i'm gonna turn them into needle miners do you want any of them and i was like uh yes please so she sent me these little little babies um they are adorable and they are indeed needle miners. But look at them. I love them so much. Uh, but that's not all she sent me because, well, it must be a cat thing. We are gift givers. <laughs> um, she also sent me this little Oort jar. And oh my goodness, it is the coolest thing ever. These are like little fabric scraps. Um, and so this is going to go on my computer slash sewing desk. Um, because I need a new Oort jar over by my sewing machine. So that is wicked cool. Um, and then she sent me a ton of fabric. And I mean a ton. Um, just here. Do, do we do a little flip through? Here we go. Ready? Speed run. Um, this whole video is speed run apparently. These little water squirtle boos are so cool. Um. A lot of this is gonna go into project bags and gifts, and but there are a few that I am going to keep for myself because oh, they are so up my alley, like these little spots here. The oct okay, so cat crochets octopi and sells them, um, and I'm obsessed. I'm getting one. We are going to do a trade. We're gonna trade. I'm gonna send her project bag or two, or three, or five, and she's going to send me an octopus, um, but, and this, oh my goodness, the, you can't, can you tell, it's mermaid scale, <gasps> obsession, this is being made into a bag real soon, um, but, look at all of the awesome, Ken and Barbie, but like retro, oh my gosh, I love it, Dr. Seuss, um, the, the villains, hello, gorgeous, Nightmare Before Christmas, oh, right up my alley, um, so, yes, I have a whole new stack of fabric that needs to be put on boards and put up on my bookshelf, um, but, oh, I'm in love, I'm in love with the fabric, and 
cat, apparently. She's stuck with me. Um, <laughs> and that works, because I'm stuck with her, she says. Um, so that is all stitchy stuff. Uh, life update in the reason. I have not been here. Um, if you want to leave at this point, I understand. I love you. Bye. Um, my husband got sent to the hospital last month, actually, in February. Um, I guess I missed last month because March is over. Um, he has been sick since September and we have been going back and forth with the VA and pretty much they just kept going, oh, well, you're having problems because you're fat, lose weight, and then sending him home. Um, because he was having real bad swelling in his legs. No, no. He had cellulitis, has cellulitis. Um, it ended up going septic and he was admitted through the emergency room. Um, I come home from my tattoo appointment with Aaron and found my husband on the couch gasping for air uh, with this absolute look of terror on his face. So we went to the ER and he was admitted for five days and he was there for the five days and they sent him home with like three more days of antibiotics and a week later he was sick again. So. The VA wouldn't see him. We threw a fit, whatever. They sent us over to an urgent care. Urgent care gave us 10 more days of antibiotics. He took those and a week later he was sick again. Um, is it done? I think it's done honking. Okay. So yeah. So my husband has been having breathing problems and leg swelling and all the kind of fun, not fun stuff that comes with so extended cellulitis. Um, and so I have not been sleeping. I've been staying up at night watching his breathing, making sure he's doing okay. Um, and sleep deprivation is not conducive to stitching and that is why I have not stitched much lately. Um, I did set my laser cutter up and I cut out a ton of floss drops for myself. I have enough floss drops for all of the main DMCs and I've been kind of working on moving over from the floss away bags to those floss drops. I'm keeping my most sales on the Adam Hart floss drops because I love them. <sighs> it also the most sales hanks and skeins are much larger in the holes on the Adam Hart floss drops are a lot larger. Um, my coffee pot is dripping. That's obnoxious. Um, I've been working on charting. Um, Aaron Culpepper sent me his new artwork. We are doing a mermaid. She is fully charted. I have all the threads picked out. Um, so her chest stitching will begin as the moment we get the fabric in. Um, so keep a lookout for that. Addie from Addie's Cross and Quilts is going to be doing the test stitch for Miss Mermaid Periwinkle. Um, and then of course I will be doing one as well. Um, I do believe there's one other person that's going to be doing an early start, but she's not technically a test stitcher, uh, but she will be stitching it during the test stitch phase. So she could kind of be a test stitcher, but not, I don't, I don't know how to, whatever. I have a friend that really wants to start her, so she's starting her early. <laughs> um, and I think that's about it. Um, this is going to be one of the shortest videos I've done in a while, but I just don't have a lot to give y'all, um, stitchy wise or emotionally. Um, oh, I'm actually wearing a mermaid shirt right now. I screen printed this like six years ago. Haha. -ha. Um, but yeah, that's it. So love you. Bye.